Hello and welcome and let's talk about Old Town in Stockholm. Hey! My name is not Sven, it is Martin. Yeah. Yes, I am standing on Sturtoyet, the big square in Stockholm's old town, Gamla Stan, at the height of the hill right next to the castle and next to Nobelmuseet, the Nobel Museum. Uh, yeah, not a whole lot of people here on the square yet. Uh, Turisterna, the tourists, have not yet come back in the same amount that they used to. Uh, for those of you who have been following me for a while, uh, last year I spent 18 hours off on Timma here on this square. I wasn't allowed to leave into any of the alleys. I had to remain on the square no matter what for 18 hours. Uh, I will link that video in, in the description. That was an interesting day. And obviously this pandemic uh, has caused a lot of problems around the world. Not just in the fact that people are dying and people are sick, but also the way we live, the fact that we don't we, we don't skok a hand. And one of the things I'm thinking about is how will this affect us in the long run? Whenever there will be a vaccine, uh, whenever there will be a boot made or a way for us to be able to be close again in the way that we used to, you know, remember 2019? Because one of the many joys I have living in Stockholm is to come here, come to this toy and just sit and look at turistana. To see them listen to the story about the cannonball over there in the wall, to see them go and have a princess torta over there, and just enjoying Utsikten, uh, the houses back there. Lots of pictures have been taken there. Uh, let me know if any of you have been here and if you have a picture of those houses. Very famous. You have Fontänen over there, and then you have the whole story about the Stockholm bloodbath, Stockholm's bloodbad. Not a pretty story, but part of history. And also, if you haven't seen the video where I walk around the entire old town and I translate every single alley and street and brink, you should definitely watch that video. That took a long time to do, but so much fun and I learned so much myself. It's almost like you become overrasked that you hear an airplane. It's like, what is that sound? Oh, that's how we used to travel. Remember that? And I mean, I can't wait to be able to resa Sekot again. Uh, I hope that will be pretty soon. But until then, we'll just have to enjoy uh, Duvorna. We have to enjoy Blå Himmel. We have to enjoy Glass. And we have to enjoy each other for Avstand. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you the next time you click on one of my videos. Bye.